morning, this is Sister Nell Sammons from Tornado Apostolic Church. I come to you this morning with a devotion entitled, Making a Clean Slate. In Romans 13, 11 and 12, <clears throat> And that knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. I'm doing a do-over. <clears throat> we serve the Lord of the second chances. Just ask Noah, ask Sansom, ask Peter, ask Adam and Eve. If you've been born again, it's because you were granted a second chance. And just as God's forgiveness never runs dry, 70 times 7, we actually don't run out of, seven, of second chances. Every new moment is a second chance until we run out of time. Hebrews 10 and 25 says, Redeeming the time <clears throat> because the days are evil. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Thank you, Lord, for putting me on the fire to purify me, for stretching me so I can be broadened, for giving me open doors to witness to people who are hurting and searching, for giving us more family time, for reminding us that God is our leader, not any political person, for proving that when it comes to the church, the gates of hell will not prevail against it, for teaching us to turn off the news and dwell in real truth, for demonstrating that the world doesn't give us our peace and so the world can't take it away, for being difficult because difficulty strips away all false hopes we place in fleeting things and false foundations so we can get to finding our true identity in our Creator and Sustainer for uh, proving that we need each other and that social distancing does more damage than a magnified microscopic virus ever could for settling forever any doubts about whether God keeps his promises to his children. We have a clean slate. So thank you, Lord, for ending <clears throat> an old self and us leading to a new beginning for a future as bright as the promises of our God. Hebrews 12 and 1. <clears throat> Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which do so easily beset us, let us run with patience the race that is set before us. God wants you to have a new beginning for us to make a fresh start. In 2 Corinthians 5:17, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. A wife came into the bathroom to see her husband standing on the scales with his stomach sucked in. And she said, is that really going to help? He said, sure, or else I can't read the numbers. So to be faithful, available, and teachable. We must be faithful. Number one, how faithful are you to Jesus Christ? Are you faithful just when it's convenient to do so? Or are you faithful when it isn't? Sunday school church is, isn't a Saturday decision. It is made long ago. In my family, we never asked if we're going to church this morning. We got ready and we went. But if you can't be there, do you watch the video online? Do you make up your offerings when you miss church? Are you faithful to defend God in public? Are you faithful in private? That is being faithful to Jesus. You focus on Him and you do things for His glory, even when it is an inconvenience to you to do so. You must be available. 
How available are you? Do you seek to serve God and minister to others? That's a contributor mentality church members today have a consumer mentality. But Jesus came not to be ministered unto, but to minister. And you must be teachable. Are you willing to listen to the truth and grow and change? Or do you get irritated and quit listening? It takes humility. You know what humility looks like? Open your eyes for once during the invitation, during the altar service, and look at the people kneeling at the altar. That's humility. To be a Christian who is walking forward for the Lord and not just sitting in one spot, claiming the miracles of Christ, we need to be fat, F-A-T, which stands for faithful, available, and teachable. Are you? So, to have a clean slate, we must leave the past behind. When we pray, we often take our needs to the Lord and ask His help in dealing with them. But then what do we do, often do, instead of leaving them with Him? We take them back after we finish praying. We need to learn to leave things where they belong. God wants us looking forward. The devil wants us to look back. But we must press toward the mark. We talk about our walk in life, our walk of faith, walk in the Lord. But it's very, very, it's very nature. Walking means moving forward. And as we move forward, we are always doing two things. We leave one place and we go to the other. So tomorrow I will finish on my thought, making a clean slate. Have a really, really wonderful day in the Lord. God bless you.